Hi there folks, Andrea Cox here with andreacox.com. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I, gotta, I always have to adjust my dress. I hope this is, I hope this is good with all of you <laughs> and not just with the male population and a small portion of the female population. Anyway, this is my five minute salad and I've been wanting to do this salad for you for a long time because everybody's always like, you know, it takes so long to juice and to make a salad and those big salads you make, wah, 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 wah. It's like Charlie Brown to me in my ear. It takes five minutes. So I'm gonna look at the clock right now. It is 4.10 and by 4.15, I'm gonna have a meal made, all right? So, and bonus, if you can tell me what this is, I'm gonna give you a one month free into my site. So I'm gonna peel it. We're gonna show a close up of it at the end. If you can tell me what this root vegetable is. Okay, because quite honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I bought it the other day and don't know. So tell me what it is. Okay, so what we have here, I'm, I'm just gonna do a quick salad. Now, so if you're a meat eater, you could put a couple wild caught sardines on this salad. If you're not a meat eater, you could steam um, you know, some vegetables at the end of the meal. If you're a raw foodish, you can have a piece of raw chocolate at the end of the meal or throw some dates in your salad, whatever. This is a basic salad, five minutes, here we go. So what I have here, I've got romaine. So I'm just gonna take the outer leaves of the romaine off. Did you know that the outer leaves have the, uh, the most nutrition in them? They're densely nutrient-dense. Nutri nutrient I'm gonna take the outer leaves. I'm just gonna break them up. My hands are clean. Put them in a bowl. That was really difficult. I'm telling you, these emails I get complaining about the length of time it takes to go raw. I'm not gonna listen to them. I'm gonna just show you that, you know, it's easy. Spinach. Got some organic spinach in here. I put that in there like so. Beautiful. Fluff that up right there. I put a little handful of arugula in here just to kind of spice it up. Remember the six tastes we have going on there, the uh, sour, the sweet, the salty, the pungent. Sunflower sprouts, gotta have that live enzyme love on there. I'm just gonna dump the whole bag of sunflower sprouts in there because they're getting kind of soft. And you know, this is all stuff I have in my fridge. It's all about using what you have. So all of this I had in my fridge. I'm gonna throw a couple of my favorite thing on here, some squash blossoms, just to decorate it. And we're gonna peel some of my secret ingredient. Yum, got a little piece of something on there that I don't want, but we are staying under five minutes without editing. Okay, so we're just gonna peel a little bit of that in there. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but I know I love it. It's got a lot of inulin in it, and I just can't think of what it is. Yay! And we're done. That's it. We've got five ingredients in there. We don't need any more. Um, again, if you're not a raw foodist, you could throw some wild-caught sardines or have a piece of salmon at the end of this. If you are a raw vegan, you could um, just, you know, have a piece of chocolate at the end of this or a few dates. If you're just simply vegan and you eat cooked food, you could bake a couple sweet potatoes or steam some broccoli at the end of a salad. But five minutes, throw some greens in a bowl, chop up a couple vegetables, voila, you're done. Andrea Cox here with andreacox.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, hit the like button and hey, subscribe. I make amazing five minute salads for you. Be well.